G'day everyone, how's it going? Okay, I love helicopters and I guess my favourite helicopter would be the Iroquois. Uh, I'm surprised at lack of uh, availability of this kit in manufacturers in 148. Um, it, it seems to be a bit underlooked. Uh, Kitty Hawk, I regret I didn't get their offering when, it, when they were around, but they're gone and I'm waiting and hoping that whoever bought their moulds will re release it. But until then, I've bought this one uh, while I could find it and it's around because I'm not sure how often it comes in and out of uh, production. So it's a Tallery's 148 uh, UH-1D Iroquois. Interestingly, this kit's been boxed a lot by different manufacturers, some I've never heard of. You got So the tooling's from 1998. Uh, Tallery have done it four times. This box art it says 2013, so I'm not sure if this has been floating around since then, or they've reboxed it, uh, reboxed it and just put it out, and not announced that it was uh, reboxed again. And you've got Ravel, have done it once. Flying Kiwis, I've never heard of, done it once. Academy, have done it once. And DF Hilo stuff, have done it once again. I've never heard of them. Uh, so we got three, I think this one's got, so you got American, German and Australian. So I've not seen in here, I've not ever seen any reviews of the kit, so being a tallery, that's a bit of a, fingers crossed. There, there, that. Okay, so a bit of a history on the Iroquois. So we got the sprues, only the three, one of them being clear. Paint callouts are in Tallery's acrylic range. Uh, and instructions of the old fold out, open up, among us. Okay, starting with the cabin floor, a uh, heap of holes to be drilled out, seats. Uh, then we open the uh, cabin interior going in, uh, seats in the rear, uh, padded walls, uh, the controls and the foot pedals. This is if the this is something I would, if I was going to build it, I'd have a good look at what is available in aftermarket. Being a helicopter, and you can see inside really easily. Uh, seats in the back, uh, cabin roof, which is also part of the cockpit roof. Uh, enter into the rotor head section. Hold that up a minute. Uh, then we've got the halves, fuselage halves coming together. You look out for which version you're doing as to some different things going on here. Uh, exterior roof going on with the clear parts. Uh, again, depending on which version as to which piece is going in here. In the engine area, uh, we got antenna skids going on, glass on the nose on the under on the bottom of the floor, uh, uh, control surfaces uh, bump skid at the back, and you're on to the 
sliding doors on the side, uh, antenna on the nose, some scoops up the top, and uh, yeah, the uh, rotor blades and tail rotor system. So there's uh, So yeah, the first version is uh, U.S. Army, uh, seven first cavalry, Vietnam, nineteen seventy. Uh, that's your classic olive drab. We got Royal Australian Air Force nine squadron, good old nine squadron, nineteen seventy. That would be the one I would definitely do if I was to build it. Again. Uh, Olive Trab. Now we got a German Army 1992. This one's a bit more colourful with the uh, high vis orange on it. So, that's your out of box choices. Decals may look alright. A bit flat, but they should go down all right. Okay. Three parts. Oh, this is a piece of the uh, piece of the bag. I think it's always a clear part. Uh, it's actually very nice, nice and clear. Bit of flash and a couple of them on the edge. Uh, yeah, so the parts look nice. Was it'll come down to how good they fit into the grey styrene. Doesn't look, doesn't look too bad. It is what twenty six years old now. The tooling. Which is why I can't understand why someone else hasn't done uh, more recent tooling of this kit or of the uh, helicopter. So you got details moulding, basic harnesses and that. But this is definitely something that really could use some aftermarket. We got a lot of ejection pin marks need taken care of. Uh, seats, we've got some texture moulded into them. And we've got the soundproofing texture as well in the rear section. It's not too bad, it's not. Uh, for some reason I was expecting there was going to be a heap of flash, but it doesn't look too bad. Actually it doesn't look too bad at all. We got some texture in the floor deck. Uh, yeah, instrument panels are molded in again. Aftermarket would be a nice improvement over that. Again, not really. A uh, little bit here and there, flash, but nothing major. So it's pretty good. There you go. 
I know it's old, but I've never looked at this kit, so it's new to me. I'm going to add some uh, still photos now of the sprues. Thank you for watching.